Today's video is a DIY kombucha vinegar lavender sunburn spray that I came out with last year. My name's Liz and this is my kombucha channel. So the ingredients are simple. We're gonna take kombucha vinegar, lavender buds, and some aloe vera juice. So how this works on sunburns is that kombucha vinegar has acetic acid and that naturally happens during the fermentation process. So it's gonna be in kombucha anyway, but when you have kombucha vinegar, there's more of the acetic acid. And that's what helps with this thing when you have a sunburn. Then we have lavender. So lavender has a lot of soothing properties, right? It smells good. It's antibacterial, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory. So that's gonna help with the redness and the burning of the sunburn. Then we have aloe vera juice. If you've ever had a, a burn, like burned yourself at the stove and put aloe vera on it, it works so good. I mean, it takes away the burn. It, it doesn't blister up. If you don't have some of these ingredients or know how to make kombucha vinegar, don't worry, I'll go over that in a little bit in the video. How to make it, it's really simple. We're gonna take our kombucha vinegar and we're gonna add our lavender buds. So here's mine, and you only need to let it sit for a week. Mine has been sitting for three weeks on accident just because I didn't get a chance to record. And I actually let it sit outside so that it would be solar infused and then lunar infused from the, from the moon also, but you can just leave it on the counter. After a week, we're gonna strain it and then we're gonna add our aloe vera juice, put it in a spray bottle, or you could just put it in a regular bottle because you're gonna have some extra and keep it in the fridge. If you're wondering, well, won't putting it in the fridge make the bacteria and yeast go dormant? And it absolutely will. But the star of the show here is acetic acid. So <clears throat> it's not gonna be affected by the cooler temperatures in the fridge. And it actually feels really good spraying this when it's cold onto your skin, when your skin is burning. If you don't have kombucha vinegar, how you make it, it's really simple. You just let your brew ferment until it becomes vinegar. So I actually just ran out of kombucha vinegar. I started this one about two days ago. And this morning in my meditation, um, the thought came to me, well, gosh, that's a lot of kombucha vinegar. I don't think I need that much, and I don't. So what I'm gonna do is in 12 days, actually 10, I'm gonna strain out half of it, so I'll probably bottle two, two of these 16 ounce bottles, flavor it, drink that later. And then the rest, I'll just put the SCOBY back in there and let it sit for another 20, 15, 20 days. And you'll know it's ready because when you smell it, it smells like vinegar and you're not gonna wanna drink it. <clears throat> and then you just save that and it, it'll last indefinitely. Just put it in your cabinet and it's, you have it if you ever need it for other things like sunburn spray. If you don't have kombucha vinegar and you don't feel like waiting because you want to make this, you can use regular vinegar, white or apple cider. White vinegar is going to be a little less offensive, actually a lot less offensive to your nose. Apple cider vinegar is so strong. You could also use lavender essential oil if you don't have lavender buds. And if you don't have aloe vera juice, you can just use an aloe vera plant and scoop out the, the inside the gel in the aloe vera plant. And then there are some different herbs that you can use. So I just wanted to keep this simple. That's why I just used the lavender, but you could also get tea bags from the store. So like sleepy time teas would have chamomile and lavender in it. That would be a great combination. Other herbs that I would use are calendula, plantain, comfrey, St. John's wort, or elderflower. All those are fabulous herbs that would work really good. One last thing I wanted to mention. So after I, I made this last year, just to see what happened, I put a little bit in a little jar and I left it out in my closet and a SCOBY formed. No mold, so you're all good there. If you found this video helpful in any way, please hit that like button. Finally, to use the spray, it just sprayed on an area that got too much sun. You can rub it in or just let it air dry. Thanks for watching and have a great summer.